Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, let's get the shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Vegas S. Vegas S was first to say first in one of my recent videos. And that's what is a shout out. So congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And I have a neat new review for you today. This is the new version of the Snapper 7. Now, the Snapper 7 came out, oh, I don't know, about six months ago. Uh, but when it originally came out, it had a smaller 703 motors. This one has 802 motors in it, uh, much, well, not much bigger, but bigger 802 motors to give it more power. Also, it's loaded up with uh, the current, well, version of Betaflight it is, in this version, is 3.4.0. I think the original had 3.3.0. I don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that one there, folks, but I know the Betaflight's been updated and it's got larger motors. But let's go over it, actually, to see what we got in here. Now, this is actually a nice kit, okay? It comes with your drone and with a charger and also with uh, tools and spare props and three a total of three spare batteries or two battery two spares and one main battery so let's go over the drone at first and talk about that okay this is the brushless snapper 7 it has against uh, 802 motors uh, brushless motors that run on a 1s battery okay now you're saying okay 1s uh, poo poo and that no, 1S actually gives it a relatively good power. I was actually surprised. I was flying around in the house last night. At least it was flying really well in the house. Now, I want to fly it outdoors, of course, because I like to fly outdoors. But let's go over things, other things it has. It has a 700 TVL camera. Now, this is supposed to be a 48-channel camera, but they uh, nerfed 11 of the channels there uh, to uh, meet FCC compliance. So it is actually only 37 channels, at least in the U.S. it is. Um, it's 25 milliwatt output from this camera. Now this camera can be tilted up or down. You just loosen up the screw there and you can tilt it up. I got mine tilted up almost max, you know, max forward up because I want to fly at high speed again outdoors. Now the camera also has, the FPV transmitter also has, uh, on-screen display with smart audio. So you can adjust PIDs with this out in the field. So that's cool too. Um, the, the drone also includes telemetry, so you can see RSSI, you know, relative signal strength on the on-screen display. Again, we have a Crazy B F3 flight control board here, loaded up with uh, uh, 3.4.0. That's dated uh, July 8th, 2018. Um, the ESCs on this are 5 amp ESCs, and they, again, they uh, provide power to these 802 or 19,000 kV motors. Um, it has aluminum prop guards around each of the propellers. It should provide uh, good uh, protection of the propellers. But one thing you want to check when you get these, uh, these propellers are only he held on by friction, folks. You've got to push them down in, in effect, and you've got to use a prop puller to remove them. So make sure all of your props are installed properly all the way down. They want to, you want those props to be inside of the protection ring um, to get the ducted fan effect, you know, increase the efficiency of the propellers by doing such. Um, let's see, it has LEDs, it actually has LED on the front, I was flying this last night and it was a very bright LED up front, and I'm trying to find it again, <laughs> but I can't see it right now, we'll see it when I fly it manually, and I'll show you that LED, but that LED really came in handy when I was flying this indoors line of sight actually, and that helped me maintain uh, orientation on the drone. Now this is available in uh, Bind and Fly, in Fly Sky. And Free Sky, both in D8 and D16, you can set it, um, select uh, D8 or D16. Now, the Free Sky version, uh, the, the uh, receiver is embedded and put it, or <laughs> embedded within the flight control board. And in fact, there's its bind button right there, that tiny little button. I don't know if you can see it or not, folks. I'm trying to show it to you. But one thing about this, this binds differently than other drones that you normally bind. Normally you have to hold the bind button down while plugging in the battery. That's not true with this one, you know. The other way to do it, you know, holding the button down, usually a two-person job, you need, I usually get my wife to help me. Uh, but for this one, this one is actually rather easy. You just plug in the battery and then hold that bind button down for three seconds until the, uh, there have, there's these red and white LED lights on the bottom here. They start flashing. Once they go solid, when you hold that bind button down, they should go solid. And then you go open up your transmitter and select bind in your transmitter. And then they'll start blinking again. And that tells you that you have bind. So in effect, you know, it's pretty easy to bind this thing without using two people. Uh, that's about it.
So we are going to start off and fly this line of sight first, folks. And, oh, before I do that, I really need to go over this battery charger. <laughs> Again, you get three batteries, but this battery charger is an LIHV LI LiPo battery charger. You can provide uh, either a wall input plug there, or you can also use XT60 connector um, LiPo battery to provide power to this charger. And it's actually a pretty cool charger. You can charge up to six um, batteries at once with this charger. So it's actually not too shabby. So I'm going to close up this box. We're going to plug in the battery, one of the batteries, fly it line of sight first, and then we'll switch to acro flying. So, okay, I got the battery plugged in. Now I did set up switches a little bit differently on mine. Uh, all the way down like this is bind mode for mine. Uh, center position or up position here will be angle. Center position will be air. And there we go. All motors are spinning. And air acro. And all the way down will be just uh, unaided acro. So plain acro. So we're going to start off uh, flying angle mode just to see how it flies. Actually flies very well for a 1S battery drone. Not bad at all. Not super punchy, but I wouldn't expect it to be with 1S, but let's see how fast it is. Around and around and around. It is fast. Okay, let's bring it up close. Let's show you that LED. Let's see if you can see that LED. I don't know if you can see that or not, folks, underneath that. Okay, let's try some, um, put it on the pad again. And I'm going to switch to air mode. Air mode acro. Uh, this is actually the battery that you get with this. You get three of these. And it's the Happy Model 450 milliamp hour, 450 milliamp per hour. 3.8 volt HV battery, high voltage battery. So again, this goes up to 4.35 volts like the other one that I got there. Um, I was using that other one actually to practice with. So let's, um, hold on, I need to turn on my transmitter. We're going to go fly in here. Transmitter is on, all switches up. Put the transmitter down. And plugging in the drone. Battery is plugged in. Centering the battery. We should be good to go. So hold on, folks, and let me put on my goggles. We'll go fly. Okay, if you notice on the screen there now, it's saying land now, and it's saying 4.2 volts. It's That's from the over-voltage protection. Of, you know, it, just ignore that. That is wrong. Um, but let's see here. What I wanted to show you, folks, first off, is the smart audio. Let's move the throttle stick up and to the left, and the pitch roll stick full up, and we get the menu for... Uh, the different things here now under features here. I'm not sure you can actually change the uh, much under this uh, Let's try it, but you can't you know, you can adjust power levels But keep in mind that this is only a 25 milliwatt cycle or 25 milliwatt power on this uh, Transmitter so all these other ones that you see there are inoperative and uh, But I'm not going to change the channels and frequencies. Let's go back here and let's go back and I want to show you one other thing under profiles, of course, you can go in here and mess with the PIDs if you want. So that's cool also. But I want to go right into flying. So let's save and ex or let's just exit. I'm not changing anything here. And let me adjust the goggles on my head. And uh, going to acro. And we are in acro. And then I'm arming it. And we're armed. And we should be good to go. So again, ignore that 4.2 volts. We're going to go down until we see 3.5 and land it then. Let's try this out. First, I want to get a feel for it. How's those PIDs? And how's my RSSI? Let's go around the pole here, see if we can go around the pole without any problems. No problem there. Okay, coming through. It's actually a nice flyer. No, not a lot of punch, but we can go up and hopefully do this. And no problem at all. Coming down through the trees. Nice little machine. Let's go by us. So yeah, this is again made mainly for indoor flying. I don't know why that land now is going on there. It's 3.6 volts. That's a lot of power. But I want to see how fast it'll go. Coming by us again. 
going around the trees, going up again, and trying that. No problem doing that. Zipping through. Okay, let's slow down a bit. Flying acro still. Coming through the trees. Not too hard to fly this at acro, folks. This would be an excellent acro trainer for beginners. Really excellent at ac or acro trainer for beginners. And the price is right. You get three batteries. It's brushless. So, you know, not too bad. Actually, I don't know how they can sell this at the price with all the features it got. <laughs> I almost did that tree. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for it to go below 3.5, actually. There we go, we're below 3.5, so I'm going to bring it in now. Now, let's go above the trees. Go up and over and come back down. And bring it in. I'm going to pop another battery. Again, I got several spare batteries in this. <laughs> Let me go to acro or angle. Stabilized and we'll bring it in. I don't want to land in that field. That field is wet today, folks. They just watered it. So I'm going to try to get onto that pad if I can. There. Did I do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let me plop one more battery in and we'll go for a second flight. So hold on, folks. Okay, let's go for one more flight. One more flight of this thing. How do you like my shirt today, folks? I forgot to ask you. <laughs> but uh, This time, I am going to select uh, air mode. Acro air mode. And let's arm it. Motor should be running. And the reason I want to do acro air mode is because I want to do more of those like that. And see how that works. You know, air mode usually is really cool for, or best for doing stunts. If you want to do stunts like that. Air mode is the way to do, the way to go. So, actually, not a bad little machine at all, folks. Really, this would be excellent trainer for acro, for beginner flyers or new flyers that want to learn acro. This one is the one to do it with. It's actually very nice. Pids aren't too bad. Not bad at all. Nicely tuned. Can I go through the trees easily with this thing? So, actually nice. Let's go around us. Show it to you up close, going up. And rolling it one more time. Coming around, coming by us again. Nice machine. Whoa. <laughs> Let's do the high speed run by us. Let's go fast, 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 fast. That's his full speed, folks. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad for a, a whoop. Come on. What more can you ask for? Coming around again. Let's turn here. And then turn it around again. Let's turn here. Turn it around again. Not a shabby. This is actually nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm having fun with it. It's a great little machine. This would be wonderful indoors. And I, I did fly this a lot indoors last night, though, in, in stabilized mode. But outdoors, you can fly this thing. Okay, we're going to call it quits here. Going up again, selecting stab. Again, I don't want to land in the uh, water. So you get about uh, a little over two and a half minutes or so flight time. I'm going to fly the last part and stabilized here until it goes below 3.4. Let's bring it up close again to show you. I'm going to do a slow, slow flyby this time in stabilized mode. I'm going to fly the XKA800 again today, folks. I don't know if you see my box quads there. <laughs> but not too bad. I like this little thing. You know, if you fly it nice and slow, you can probably squeak out three and a half minutes of flight time. I was actually pushing it quite a bit. So let's bring it in, see if I can get on the pad again. Did I? Yes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Let me turn off that uh, recording. Recording is off. And give you my final th thoughts on the little Snapper 7 upgrade, a new version with 802 motors. It's actually very nice. 
very, very nice. I liked it, folks. Um, this would be, again, an excellent uh, intro to acro flying. Uh, it's for the price. I can't think of one that has all these features. <laughs> you know, brushless motors, OSD. Um, all in all, it's actually a very nice little uh, flyer. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank <laughs> you.